Dogs love to lick. From our faces, to our feet, to our hands, to our ears, barely any part of us escapes that slobbery tongue. But did you know that the meaning behind those licks are very, very different? Surprisingly, not all of your pup's licks convey warm feelings for you. Some of them mean quite the opposite, in fact. In this video, we're going to look at what it means when your dog licks different parts of your body and some safety tips to ensure that you can enjoy those wet, doggy kisses without worrying about you or your pooch getting sick. But before we dive in, why not subscribe and join our canine loving community for more tips and tricks on how to care for your dog. Why does my dog lick my face? Face licking is most likely to be interpreted by humans as a canine equivalent to kissing, and it's true that it can be meant as a sign of affection. Dogs lick, or groom, each other as a way to build social bonds. Fortunately for humans who don't want to find out what their dog's fur tastes like, petting has the same effect. But dogs will also lick faces as a way to get their humans' attention. They know that no matter how busy we are, we're not going to ignore a face full of wet tongue and that it's a good way to distract us from whatever we're doing. Conversely, dogs will sometimes kiss to dismiss if they've picked up that licking their human's face is a good way to get them to move away. You can distinguish a go-away lick from an I love you lick because the dog will likely be more forceful about it and may feel like they're trying to push you away with their nose and tongue. Forceful licking, especially on the face, can unfortunately also be a way for your dog to establish dominance over you if they've decided to try and challenge your place on the pack hierarchy. Another, more disgusting reason for doggy kisses relates back to their puppyhood. Puppies will often lick their mama dog's mouth to encourage her to puke up food for them to eat. Your dog doesn't expect you to vomit, although with that image in your head you might feel like throwing up but they may instinctively lick your mouth as a way of signaling to you, their surrogate parental figure, that they're feeling hungry and would like some snacks. Finally, sometimes face licks have a simpler explanation. If you've been sweating or crying, then your face is likely to have traces of salt on it. Dogs love the taste of salt and will have no compunctions about licking it off your face. Why does my dog lick my feet? Just like the face, the feet are another very sweaty part of the human body, so your dog may just be after that tasty, tasty sweat. But hopefully, unlike your face, sweaty feet will often smell as well. To the other humans in your life, having stinky feet might be enough to get you banned from taking your shoes off around them. But to a dog, anything that smells strongly is extremely fascinating. Dogs are very scent-oriented creatures and gain a lot of information about the other animals they encounter through chemical scents called pheromones that are released in sweat. Your dog may like to lick your feet because it gives them an opportunity to sniff them. If you're ticklish, then they might be trying to take advantage of that. A lot of people will be reduced to laughter from a dog's tongue tickling the soles of their feet, and your dog, who knows that a laughing human is a happy human, may want to provoke that reaction. Finally, there's the simplest explanation. Most dogs are considerably shorter than most humans. For a small breed, licking their human's feet might not be a matter of choice. It could be the only part of the body that they can easily reach without standing on their hind legs. Why does my dog lick my hands? Hands aren't as sweaty as faces and feet, but they are still delicious, albeit for a totally different reason. Hands are what we eat with. You might find that your dog has a particular taste for your fingers after you've just finished a snack. Although, before you let your puppy lick up those crumbs, check that whatever you are eating doesn't have any ingredients that could be unsafe for them. You also use your hands for petting your dog, which means that licking them can be a way for them to remind you that they're there and want some pets, or alternatively, a way to gently push your hands away when they're not in the mood to be petted. Finally, as with the feet, a lot of hand licking is due to convenience. Hands can be at near head height for larger breeds, making them easy to reach. And if the human is dressed to go out, then the hands might be the only body part 
aside from the face, which is too high for most dogs to access easily when the human is standing, that isn't covered by clothes. Same if the human is under the covers in bed. Some people will even let one hand hang off the bed specifically so that they can pet their pup as they drop off to sleep. If you're an old woman in an urban legend, with a habit of letting your dog lick your hand at night to distract you from that mysterious dripping sound that has been keeping you awake, and from the recent news about that escaped serial killer, then be sure to check that whatever's licking your hand is actually a dog. Why does my dog lick my ears? Disgustingly enough, one of the reasons is that dogs love the taste of earwax. Yeah, we know. Somehow, this is even harder to understand than the sweaty feet thing. At least humans also like the taste of salt. However, your dog licking your ears can also be a sign that they're trying to be helpful. Remember, dogs clean themselves by licking, and although they're a lot more flexible than the average human, even that one person in your yoga class whose spine appears to be made of rubber, they're not quite at the stage where they can lick their own ears. As a result, proper ear cleaning is something that can only happen if they involve another dog. Your dog licks your ears because they assume that you can't clean or scratch them yourself, and they want to make sure that you don't get ear mites or some kind of infection. Ironically, of course, you might end up having to clean your ears yourself if your pup gets carried away with the licking. Is it safe to let my dog lick me? Let's be honest, letting your pup lick you, especially on the mouth, isn't the most hygienic thing in the world. It's on the level of those couples who share their toothbrushes. They're probably not going to die from it, but if you don't do it yourself, then you're probably grossed out by the idea. In some parts of the world, people are very against the idea of dogs licking humans, especially on the face, for the fairly understandable reason that they also use those tongues to clean their own butts. It's true that a dog's spit can contain some nasty bacteria, such as Capnocytophaga canamorsis and Pasteurella canis, which can make you very sick. But fortunately, there's a low chance of you actually contracting these just from your dog licking you. To help keep yourself safe, however, make sure you never allow your dog to lick you anywhere where you have an open cut. And if they're licking you on the mouth, then make sure your mouth stays closed. Although hopefully you were already doing that. Licking you can also be unsafe for your pup. We humans apply all sorts of things to our skin that are less than safe for a doggy digestive system. Never let your dog lick your skin if you've just applied any kind of perfume, body wash, or medicated cream. Finally, remember that even if you're okay taking the risk, however slight, of getting sick by exposing yourself to your dog's germs, your friends might not be. Always wash your hands with soap and water before shaking hands with someone or preparing food. Nobody wants saliva in their sandwiches. By the way, did you know that imprinting is one of the most important aspects of your relationship with your doggo? And it doesn't always happen on its own. Check out this video to learn how you can tell whether your dog has imprinted on you and what to do if they haven't done so yet.